What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Haven't been on YouTube a whole lot lately because Jackie and I just moved into a new place. Still moving in. <laughs> yeah, we're actually still moving in actually. But today, next week I leave to go to King of the Hammers in California. So I've been working on the full runner. If you've been watching the channel, you've been watching the videos about the balance build. So I'm going to install a light bar uh, that I got from Rigid Industries on the foreigners today because out in the desert in Johnson Valley it gets super dark at nighttime. So today I'm going to be installing this 30 inch SAE high beam, low beam light bar on the full runner. Other news the Tacoma is sold. I, no! I sold this truck um, a couple days ago, actually. If you're watching this video, let's see. <clears throat> anyway, if you're watching this video, I sold the truck three or four days ago. Uh, I decided I wanted to sell the Tacoma um, to make plans for something else. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that in the next video. And I will unveil what is next. This video is gonna be about the foreigner, so let's install this thing. Seriously, this is like, I don't know, take five or six on trying to film 
this freaking light bar in the dark. For whatever reason, today at seven to eight o'clock basically, that's how long it's taking me to find a place where there's nobody around to film this. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, there's a bunch of people on the road tonight. And you gotta understand, I live in South Texas and it's super flat down here and there's not a whole lot of places to hide without somebody in the distance giving off light pollution towards me or somebody behind me or city or street lamps within like uh, a good 30 miles. So I didn't wanna like drive way across wherever to do this. Anyway, long story short, here is a light bar at nighttime turn this off all right so what you're looking at is the factory headlight projectors with xenon depot led headlights this is the rigid industries amber sae fog light kit specifically for toyota and then this is turning the light bar on now let me kick off the fog lights kick off the headlights you see on this light bar, I'm gonna come in with my finger, that sharp line right here, and then over there. That's what's really cool about these particular light bars, since they are SAE and are basically street legal, I think, um, the optic on this light bar is, is ridiculous. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a light bar or any kind of off-road light project like this does and again the video doesn't do any adjustments on the distance but this thing has a super wide throw but it's just like a sharp cutoff so it didn't have a lot of light pollution off to the side and then same thing ahead of me there's not a lot of light pollution up high it's all directed sort of down at the ground which is cool because you can see ahead of you if there's a dip or a bump or whatever the case may be but um yeah this light bar is freaking cool so, I'm going to get out of the car, and again, you can see up in front, sharp line, and then, I mean, it's just got a sharp just cut off right there, and then the same thing on that side. So it just makes like a big V way out in front uh, of the vehicle, and when I say way out in front, it only looks like a couple hundred yards, but that's... That's across the field right here. Um, yeah, that's pretty impressive. So, guys, that's going to conclude tonight's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I said tonight, this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so next episode will be King of the Hammer. So, if you're not subscribed, you should tune in and watch what happens next week. See you next time.